Hello and welcome to another edition of Express Yourself. I'm Tammy Lassane, your co-hostess for this evening. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Express Yourself. Express Yourself is a talk show. Our focus is on the youth. Our goal is to foster self-esteem and positivity through our guests. Our guests are role models from all walks of life. Our guest tonight is Mr. Frank Raines. And now, without any further ado, I give you the host of Express Yourself, Mr. Vernon Richardson. Hello and welcome to Express Yourself. We as parents must also share the responsibilities of being a positive role model for the youth. We need to reach out to our children to save them from self-destruction. So without any further delay, my guest tonight from College Park, Maryland, singer, songwriter, entertainer, and a host of a lot of positive events, Mr. Frank Rains. Thanks, How Bert. you doing, Frank? Great, thank you very much. You know, um, it's very interesting that how we met. And uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Because um, if it wasn't for that Miss Federation pageant, I mean, we would be not here today. So let's talk about your hosting abilities. Well, what we were doing, it was the Miss Federal City pageant, which is a scholarship pageant for young women. It's part of the Miss America system. And through the Miss America system, they're able to provide scholarships for young women from across the nation. And I do pageants all over the country. I travel quite a bit. I even do national pageants here in Washington, D.C. Each summer we do the Miss, Amer Miss American Woman pageant and also the Miss Teen of the Nation pageant, which again provides opportunities for young women sure. to bring themselves up. And it's a good opportunity for these young ladies, especially in the Miss America system, for scholarships and of course it's a way for young women to grow. Well, I think that's great and outstanding. But, you know, it's an honor, it's a pleasure to have you here on Express Yourself because I'm sitting here with a national host, and here I am, just a community host. So I, I say, let's host this thing together, <laughs> you know? Let's just go for it. That'll be fun. It'll be great. We'll have a good time. Great. Now, I understand that you are involved in a lot of community activities. Could you tell me a little bit about those? Sure. Of starting out with the pageantry, uh, I do travel, as I said, all over the place. I especially do a lot of teen pageants. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, I've done several right here around the D.C. area involving Maryland, Virginia, and also the District of Columbia. So, as we've said, I work a lot with young women. I also work with young men. As a matter of fact, for the last 13 years, since its inception, okay. there's a youth basketball league up in Montgomery County. And uh, I've been working for them gracious. Uh, I have worked from the very beginning helping with the beginning of the basketball okay. group and matter of fact this last March I was the master of ceremonies again and also sang the national anthem at their championship series and we had a lot of fun. I enjoy working with the boys and the girls. That's great. I see you stay busy. Try to. Busy, We'd really busy. try to. <laughs> well let me ask you this. Now how do you feel about your community today? I think one of the biggest problems right now is the fact that the kids need guidance. Sure. There's a lack of bringing the kids together and I think the pr one of the problems is that we aren't listening to the youth right now. So often the youth have ideas of things that they'd want to do and we as adults think that we have better ideas. And I think one of the biggest problems is that we don't listen to them and thus we don't structure these activities toward the kids they can have the opportunity to do the things they want to do but if we're telling them to do something and we're not listening to what they say we're not communicating right. with them mm -hmm. and to use your key word here express yourself if the kids are expressing what they want to do these are things that will get them involved sure, sure. i agree i mm -hmm. really think that the kids want activities like this and there are you shouldn't make a kid play little league that doesn't want to play ba baseball he might want to go <laughs> shoot hoops you know a, a young lady might not want to go and ballet or, there you yeah. go ballet or sure. even try to be a singer my right. gracious uh, we've I've seen plenty of those but I think that the young ladies and the young men have ideas of things they want to be involved in and I think we've got to cater to those kids absolutely I think you're absolutely right because, you know, we have a lot of parents um, in the, uh, what you call the olden age, you know, they just want to do what they want to do, but they don't want to take time out and set aside and listen to the youth. And we need to do that. And we're getting to a point that, you know, the kids are running away from the parents and the discipline is not there. And we need to bring back the family morals 
and take that as an individual. I agree with you, Vernon. It seems that we aren't listening to what their needs are, and I think we can better accommodate our youth by listening to these needs, by communicating. But then again, we're also going to have to structure these things so that sure. we're presenting the idea in a way that we feel that the kids will learn what they right. need to learn. But if we can interest them in these things, motivation. I think they, the yeah. motivation, they've got to be motivated. Yeah. They're not going to do what they don't want to do. To build their self-esteem, grab that, you know, we got to create some encouragement for them and new programs and projects that will help, you know, like you said, motivate them because they need that motivation to, to build their self. And I guess, you know, once, once they get to that point, I guess they, they can kind of like help themselves when they can see something positive, you know. I agree. There's so many programs out there right now that are underdeveloped because the kids are staying away from them. Sure. That money, those resources can be used in better ways. I think that the kids want to be involved because I think they need something like this and I think they realize it. I think that one of the things about the youth right now is they want to be given a direction by their elders. I think that if sure. they are told and given an idea of a direction they can go in, They'll take off. They'll take that ball and run. They're going to drive yeah. for it. But I don't think that right now we're giving them the right opportunities yeah. to do that. You can't make them go play basketball on a darn volleyball court. Or you can't make them, do, uh, you can't make them play, uh, sure. practice their ballet in the middle of the gymnasium. It's got to be, you know, we've got to take our resources and structure them properly. You're right. Opportunity is a key of success. You're right. The opportunity. Now, what about in your community? What changes would you like to see? in your communities if, if it could change tomorrow? I think, for instance, right now, we have one of the biggest advantages by being here and having advantage of, for instance, the park and planning system and different, mm -hmm. um, I guess I want to call it groups within our area here in Prince George's County in which we can focus toward our youth. There's so many good programs there and I think what we need to do is open our eyes and find these things. I think we need to sit down and talk to the kids. I need, think we need to go into the neighborhoods. We have youth centers all over Prince George's County. We have, them, we have a big center in Riverdale. We've got ballparks all over the place. I admit it, I played softball, played competitive softball for years and played in probably half the parks around <laughs> Prince George's County. Right. Good gracious, you know, there's some that aren't used. Maybe we can turn them into better usage through finding what the kids want. But I think we've got to give them that opportunity. We've got to sit down and talk to them. I think you're right. And uh, I, I guess, you know, it's taking time out. You know, if you can take time out with one or two kids or a group of kids, you could be amazed, man, what you can do to help change their ideas about their future. You know, I guess, you know, you had a dream, you know, I have a dream, there they have a dream too, but, you know, it's just so much negativity out here, you know, they're just mm. caught up in that. And we just got to pull them out of that. We got to show them, hey, you have a dream? Okay, let's talk about it. And we'll help them adapt to that and put them in the right direction. I think we've got to create a positive attitude and a positive direction for them to work with. Sure. And if they don't have that positive attitude in their own mind, if they don't, can't say to themselves, this is something that I want to do, not something that mom wants me to do, <laughs> dad wants me to right. do, whoever, you know, right. my teacher wants me to do this. I don't want to do this. My gracious, I know do I don't want to do it. Do it for <laughs> That's self. It. That's right. That's but if right. it's something that they can feel within themselves and go for sure. it. I think that's where the key lies, and I think the key to that opening that lock is communication. communication. And it's talking to the kids. And so often, I think right now, adults don't take the time, and I admit it myself. Sometimes I hear, but I don't listen. Right. And we got to change that. We got to change that. <laughs> oh, I know it. Okay. I'm it's guilty. It's time to I'm make a change. <laughs> oh, you got that right. <laughs> right. You got that right. Now, you know, as I said before, it's a pleasure to have you here. but. You did have a dream. You followed that dream. So let's talk about where did it all happen? Where did it start? I was kind of lucky um, in the sense that I grew up in a musical family. Okay. Um, when I was first eight years of my life, we lived with my grandparents, and my grandfather was in a municipal band. We had a piano in the house. And um, one of those things, I was kind of forced, though I kind of wanted to, I guess, right. 
to play piano and take the proverbial piano lessons and let's sit here and sit down and practice an hour a day. It's not the thing that, you know, maybe I wanted to see, do. we just talked about that's that. That's exactly yeah. right. You see. Now, I'm going to admit now, I wish I was a lot better at it because I'd be a lot better musician right now if I were, but, <laughs> but, and I grew up through going through school, right. I took the, I played in the, in the uh, school band, I played in drum corps, I was, I was a singer, you know, I was very musically inclined and athletically inclined. I mean, it seemed like all of that went together, and I guess it's part of performing because I always enjoyed performing, and I always hoped that one day that was something I would do. And fortunately now I'm able to do it, but I think it came through that process mm -hmm. of eventually becoming a musician in high school and such going through there. Now, I guess after you finished high school, you really took, took in consideration that you was going to turn professional. Right, and eventually that whole process led right. to doing the tape where we're okay. at right now. All right. Look, it's time for a commercial. No we're problem. running out of time already, but we got, got a second it. half. Okay. So... For the first time ever, right here on Express Yourself, performing live, coming up, the tribute song, an Oreo memorial, coming up next. Don't go away. We will return after this message. People are not only living longer today, they're living better. The average age of these players is 73 years old. Come on, man, you're swinging like an old lady. The remarkable thing isn't that they still play baseball, but that they all had cancer and they all survived. One out of two people who gets cancer gets well. Help us keep winning. Hello and welcome back to Express Yourself. And now performing live, the tribute in Oil Memorial, Frank Rains. <laughs> Twas nearly 40 years ago, they rode in from St. Louis, looking for a place to call their home. Browns became bright orange of the Maryland State Bird. Charm City made this baseball team its own. For 38 straight seasons, Memorial has stood there as home for the birds of Baltimore. Three World Series banners, six junior circuit pennants. With all her glories past, I dream of more. Goodbye, 33rd Street, hello, Camden Yards. No obstructed seats to spoil the view. I won't forget the times we cheered, times we cried and maybe cheered. A season to remember is all through. Oh, we moved home plate downtown for 92. Starting back in 54, sometimes close but wanting more. It took 12 years to prove they were the best. Then for nearly 20 years, AL teams would face the fear of when you go invade the Oriole nest. October 6th of 91, the last salute is almost done. Out come Brooks and Frank and Jim and Boo. Tuned every bird to say goodbye. I wiped the teardrop from my eye and Oriole Memorial will miss you. Goodbye 33rd Street. Hello Camden Yards, no obstructed seats so all can see. I won't forget the times we cheered, times we cried and maybe jeered. Memorial, you're still a friend to me. But Oriole Park is now the place to be. A goodbye 33rd Street, hello Camden Yards, no obstructed seats now all can see. Cried and maybe jeered, Memorial, you're still a friend to me. Oriole Park is now the place to be. Oh, I say Oriole Park is now the place to be.
We will return after this message. Over the years, styles change. We find new symbols, but our commitment stays the same. Healthy body, mind and spirit, help for families, child care, teen counseling, a safe haven for young people and for seniors. That's today's YMCA, helping people in Washington, Maryland and Virginia since 1852. Help us continue. Call 1-800-473-YMCA. Hello and welcome back to Express Yourself. What a wonderful tribute by Frank. I tell you, I'm ready to go to Camden Yards. How about you? Uh, rip roaring ready. <laughs> All right. Tell me, what inspired you to write this song? Well, I'll tell you what. It actually began as a demo. Okay. I was looking to find some way to express my talents. Uh, obviously, I'm looking for a record contract. And what Boy. we decided to do sure. was do a demo. I went up to, Cam to uh, Memorial Stadium to see the last game there. Mm-hmm. And it was such an emotional experience. If you listen to the words of the song, it talks about I wiped the teardrop from Had my eye. a lot of meaning, man. Oh, a lot of meaning. man, I saw my childhood heroes. I saw the guys that I grew up sure. just worshiping. Yeah. And it, was, it just meant so much that on the way back, the words started coming to me. It was like, well, goodbye 33rd Street and hello Camden Yards. And all of a sudden, hey, that's a song. That's amazing, <laughs> man. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it was cool, and up on that. it worked yeah. well, and I got home and literally wrote down just Jack about all the words, right. came up with a tune for it, put it all together, and slowly, the way I write is I work with my keyboard, I, I come see. up with words, sure. come up with a tune, put it all together, and again, you know, you make your little changes here and there, and what happened was, we put the song on the demo tape, and as I started to tell people about it, they said, you know, you ought to try to sell this or try to do something with it to promote it to the Orioles. Some friends of yours, no doubt, motivation, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. And they said, you know, you're, you have the opportunity, again, to express what you're feeling. Let sure. people hear about it. Sure. So it came down to, we said, well, let's go ahead and put it on as the title song and see if we can't market it in that way. Currently, it's being played on many of the major radio stations within the Orioles network, the local Channel 7 used it on their special for the Orioles oh, on opening day. That was great. Oh, that was great. That was really nice. They called me the night before, and I had to call up everybody I knew to tell them, you know, you got to watch this. Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, my mother <laughs> ran out of work on her lunch hour and watched it on the TV in a local department store. I'm sure it was worth a while. You know? <laughs> oh, had to make it like that. But uh, that was great. I've had so much support from all my friends and just all the people who've heard the tape also. Uh, I've sold a few mm -hmm. copies, and right now, as a matter of fact, just the other day I got a call from the Orioles organization as a matter of fact I didn't even get a call from say I lower down I got a president a call from the president of the Orioles and he said look yeah. oh I know that's a lot of power there, <laughs> that was pretty good power. Uh, <laughs> shook me right. up right. Uh, when he said this is Larry uh -huh. Lucino I said yes sir uh, we talked and sure. they're bringing me up to the stadium we're gonna sit down talk about possibly distributing it through the Orioles concessionaires we're gonna talk about playing it over the stadium PA system during the games Oh man, that's gonna be exciting I think so where you might even kick it off one of the thoughts was to possibly kick it off by singing the national anthem and using that to promote it okay. I've done that at yeah. a lot of different places I've done it at RFK I've done it at the Capitol Center so okay. doing it up there just sort of fits, and besides that, I would love to sing the National Anthem at Camden Yards. A dream that has come true for you. It's one of those things you think about, yeah. but gracious, it's worked. Who would ever think, man, riding, you know, leaving the ballpark last year, you know, <laughs> and here you are talking about it, discussing you, it. And that's right. I mean, you actually have it. I mean, it's, it's all right there, man. I think you're on your way. I think it came together well. I've been pleased with the way it came together. I've got to say that there were times when I didn't think it was going to happen. And there are times you get down, but those are the right. times you've got to have the confidence in yourself. Exactly. The confidence in your abilities. And I'll tell you what, like I said before, my friends have been so supportive. My family's been supportive. Very important. And it's, it, that is so important. You know, I, we talked about it before, communication. Um, I can't say that maybe all the little things that maybe I did in the past, eh, your parents don't exactly look forward to all right. the things you've right. done, right. but I've gotten more support out of them on this than probably of anything I've ever done, and I'm glad that they've been proud of what we've done also. I tell you, man, I think you just 
committed yourself to history here. <laughs> you know? I hope so. Hope to start something big. Well, where do you plan to go from here, Frank? I think right now what we're looking at is I have made a couple of contacts with record companies. As a matter of fact, one gentleman in New York has a, an office in Nashville. Okay. And because my music is country, uh, we've developed that. It, it fits my voice. It fits my style of writing. Mm -hmm. Because of this, uh, we're looking into the country market. Great. Also, it's growing. And oh, he yeah. has, as a matter of fact, he runs the office out of New, one of the offices in New York, and he's going to forward it on down to Nashville. Hopefully that'll be an in, and yeah. I'm going to keep on marketing just like I've been doing. Well, you think that you would ever make, uh, get the opportunity to have a music video, I mean, out of this? I mean, has that been talked about? Has anybody approached you? As a matter of fact, uh, we, have we have talked a little bit about doing it with the Orioles song, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you what, the end of the special that was on Channel 7 is an awful good good video of it because you hear the end of the song and they're sure. flashing all the pictures in the background that was great I think eventually what will happen is if we develop it into an album and we complete the album yeah. we'll probably go with one of the other songs matter of fact one of the other songs on the tape it's called the wishing well we feel that's about the strongest song as far as for the country market mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about it some of my advisors have said that they feel that that's a good opportunity to expand that into a video sure think is a great idea I hope so with We're, with with that in mind I think that um, you know with the song itself the tribute I think that's really what's gonna really carry you over because it's a lot of Baltimore Oriole fans right here man I tell you you hit home you know you hit home run plus more <laughs> I appreciate that I think right now we're you know because of my sports fanaticism and things like that I you know it was a great market and also it's giving me a lot of regional exposure and the people around D.C. have been more than supportive of me. The people in Maryland have been yeah. supportive of it. It's, it's been a great experience. I've really enjoyed all the support I have gotten. Well, I think that uh, with the support you have received, I think, you know, if you didn't receive that, you may not have gotten as far as you, you are today because motivation, support, friendship, is very important. And I'm quite sure they just build the self-esteem within you, with yourself, and just... You know, just say, hey, I'm going to go for it now. I think those the are ideas. All, yes, yeah. I, I, you're, you're right. I think it's the combination of all those characteristics coming together. And relating to the show, I think it's something that, that you know, you build as you're growing up. You know, you know you've got the talent, or at least you, you hope you have the talent. Right. I don't know it. I'm just, you know, I believe I have the talent, so we go for it. Okay. But those are the things that as you grow sure. and you learn about yourself all the time able to put those characteristics together and that personal motivation well I'll tell you Frank you know we're running out of time but before we close this show I would like to uh, you know ask you one last question is there any special comments anything special you'd like to share with uh, our Express Yourself viewers to our youth yeah I think what I want the kids to know and that you can take an idea and you can work with it. The important thing is to work with it and believe in yourself. Now, you can't do it yourself and don't believe that. It's going to take the support and help of all your friends, your family, mm -hmm. and you've got to talk with them and let them understand that they know what you want to do, what you're trying to do. But if you've got that idea and you've got that motivation within you, your friends, your family will see that and when they see that, they'll know that it's something that you believe in. And then that communication and that influence of your friends can work together and truly possibly make out something where you are successful. I'm working at it. And I'm telling you, it's taking a lot of work and it's taking a lot of support. I wouldn't be comfortable sitting here and talking to Vernon about this if it weren't for the fact that I really believe in what I'm doing and I've had that support from around me. So, by all means, talk to those people and develop that support. You've got to work together. Well, Frank, I think that's beautiful. And I'm hoping that my Express Yourself viewers take that in deep, deep consideration. And uh, I, think, I think we've touched someone tonight. I mean, you know, here you are, proud, successful young man. I mean, you're doing very positive community activities within the community. Um, I think that you're going to go very far. And uh, again, I'd like to thank you for coming on Express Yourself. Thank you very much, Vernon. Pleasure to be here. Expressing your comments and sharing your thoughts. 
it makes a difference. And you have made a difference tonight. Well, thank you. And I'd like to say this to my Express Yourself viewers. Don't go away because it's all happening right here on Express Yourself. Remember this. Follow your dreams. Believe in who you are. Until next time, peace. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the show. Usually at this time we ask you to call the comment line or send in your comments on how the show has gone for you. Well, Mr. Keith A. Hobbs has sent in um, a lovely piece of work that the people at Express Yourself chose to read at this time. It's entitled, Don't Hold Me Back. Don't hold me back. If I seek to improve, I may break some rules. Don't hold me back. When I strive to achieve, for what reason do you grieve? Don't hold me back. Victory for my case will, will uplift the entire race. Don't hold me back. How long will it be before you hold the dream? Take charge of your fate. To waste energy is to hate. If you worship your fears, you'll be idle for years. It's not that I'm not, it's not that I don't care, but that's your cross to bear. Don't hold me back. So, thank you Mr. Keith A. Hobbs for sending us your expression of yourself. And uh, tune in and thanks for joining us. Be the key to positivity. Here comes the show. The show improved to put the youth on the move with a positive mind. Through that we deal with adolescents straight up. There ain't no future in front, so just hold up. And such a fine line between right and wrong. So for the young black, this should be a thing. So there ain't no faking or flagging being toward head. The black has to know that they can succeed without fear. So watch the role models rolling. And if you're living fast, you can get it again. This show right here. to express yourself. I've always wanted to be like my brother. Just to hang around Eric, you know, and me. Then things started to change. Everybody told me he was on drugs. I couldn't believe it. Not my brother. But it was true. Drugs killed my brother.